After three years of studying medicine at Oxford University, it was my time to graduate. In medicine, you get two degrees in six years. First, a BA in medical sciences, which I got today, and then a BMBCH, which you get at the end of your course. Graduation usually happens in the middle of the summer holiday, and the specific date depends on your college. My family and I live only about an hour's drive from Oxford, so we set off in the morning to reach college for 12:30. We were given some time to arrive and register at the Porter's Lodge. First, we were given our graduate's gown to wear. There is a very strict dress code known as subfusk, which for me is a white shirt, black skirt, black tights and shoes, and a black ribbon. This is also the uniform that we wear for our exams. Once in the gown, we were given some time to take photos with friends and family. We then met our dean of degrees to have a briefing on the ceremony and to be shown how and when to bow. We then walked ceremoniously from the college to the Shulman Auditorium, where the event was taking place. This is called processing and is quite a unique sight. Once we entered the Shulman Auditorium, we were seated according to college and degree classification, starting with the DPhils first, then onto the Masters, and then finally the Bachelors. The rest of the auditorium was filled with friends and family. The ceremony was chaired by the Pro Vice Chancellor and was carried out pretty much exclusively in Latin. When it was our turn to go up, our names were called out under the title Collegia Regina, which means Queen's College in Latin, and we went up and bowed to the Pro VC. Whilst he doffed his cap, which we were told was a sign of respect. After this, we were escorted into the next door building, known as the Divinity School, where we were given our academic hoods, which for the BA Bachelor of Arts was a white fur hood. After waiting for some time, we then went back into the Shulman Auditorium, where we were applauded by our guests and had to bow again to the Vice Chancellor, who officially conferred onto us our degrees. At the end of the ceremony, we took part in a relatively new tradition, where we doffed our caps to the staff who carried out the ceremony as they left. We then met our parents and went back to the college, where there was a drinks reception. This is my BA robe and my nice hat. It's very hot, but we're going to go and enjoy high tea now. There was then an opportunity to take photos and meet friends. Sometimes Oxford traditions may seem a bit archaic, but to take part in an 800-year-old ceremony felt pretty special. It was a really nice way to celebrate all of our hard work over the last few years, and for some people, this would be their last day as a student. Hopefully, for me, I'll be back here in three years to collect my BMBCH. Find you. I'll always find you.